So now we understood the concept of X-rays, how they are produced and what are the interactions that they do in the tissue. I will go to the MCQs, potential MCQs that will be asked in this topic. So the first one is all are non-ionizing radiations except. So the options are X-rays, ultrasound waves, microwaves and radio waves. We, have, we very well saw that X-rays are ionizing radiation. The other waves, ultrasound waves, microwaves and radio waves are non-ionizing radiations. Ultrasound waves we used in ultrasonography. Radio waves or radio frequency waves are used in magnetic resonance imaging. Apart from radio frequency waves, we also use magnetic resonance in the MRI. Second question is how X-rays are produced? The options are when fast moving protons hit the target, when fast moving electrons hit the target, when an atom moves faster, when the target moves faster. So we all know the electrons are produced at the cathode and they are accelerated towards the anode to produce the X-rays. So the answer is when fast moving electrons hit the target. So the cathode and anode are made up of tungsten and the tube is evacuated tube. All our third question, all our components of X-ray tube except anode, cathode, gas filled tube, vacuum tube. Yes, we all know the answer is gas filled tube because we use vacuum tube to avoid the scattering and dispersion of the electrons. What are the factors used while taking X-ray? This is the fourth question. The options are MA and KV. MA is milliampere, KV is kilo voltage, KV and dB. dB is decibels which is the unit used in sound, dB and MA, HU and dB. HU is Hounsfield unit that will be used in computed tomography. So the option is, the answer is milliampere and kilo voltage. The answer is option A. Who discovered X-rays? Yes, it is W.C. Reungen who is a German physicist and the mechanical engineer. He invented X-rays on November 8, 1895. Who is shown below? Again, he is the hero and he is the father of radiology who is none other than W.C. Reungen. And this is the first radiograph which is taken, medical radiograph which is taken. This is the radiograph of his wife's and Anna Bertha, of his wife's Anna Bertha's hand. Next, having known the basic concepts about radiography and x-rays, we will move on to the computer tomography which again uses x-rays. One disadvantage with radiography is it is a two dimensional thing where you can see there is overlapping of tissue. If we take a frontal chest radiograph, we can know that heart is there, behind the heart there is esophagus. So the mediastinal structures, many mediastinal structures are there and surrounding everything there is thoracic cage. So all will be overlapped in a two dimensional image. To overcome this, we introduced Hounsfield invented computer tomography, which is a multiplanar modality. So this is the the question on this is computer tomography uses. It is it uses X-rays. The options are alpha rays, beta rays, gamma rays, and X-rays. So CT uses X-rays, which is a which is an ionizing radiation. So what are produced in the following equipment? This is the question number 8 and the options are X-rays, ultrasound waves, magnetic resonance and radio waves. This is the CT scanner. This is called as the gantry and this is the table that moves inside. When the patient lies down, he will be moved inside and this gantry will rotate around the patient. So there will be X-ray tube on one side and opposite to, opposite to this there will be detector here. So when it rotates like this, when the, the X-rays will pass through the patient and the detector will detect the transmitted photons coming out and that will be fed into the digital method and images will be formed. So this is the basics of computed tomography. So what are produced in the following equipment? The answer is X-rays. So computed tomography was invented by the options are W.C. Reungen, he is the one who invented the, who discovered the X-rays. Godfrey Newbold Hounsfield, he is the one who invented the computed tomography. Edward Mills Purcell and Felix Bloch. These two physicists and scientists, they invented 
nuclear magnetic resonance. So, the answer for the invention of computed tomography is Godfrey Newfold Hounsfield. So, the answer is option B. So, now I will just tell in brief about the computed tomography. The first CT scanner was invented by Sir Godfrey Hounsfield in United Kingdom at EMI Central Research Laboratories and it was invented using X-rays. The main components of X-ray tube as I had already described or the, the main components of computed tomographic scanner as I had already described or X-ray tube and the detectors. X-ray tube produces X-rays and they will be rotating around the patient in 360 degrees opposite to the X-ray tube will be the detectors. So, they will record the transmitted photons and these photons will be converted into the electrical signals that will be fed into the system and they form the images. The reconstruction method which we use or many methods and what we commonly use is back projection method and analytical methods. So, the x-rays which, which pass through the patient again undergo various interactions like that of radiography. They can be absorbed, reflected or transmitted. And the main advantage in computed tomography is its reconstruction property. A piece of tissue or any area of interest can be seen in all three planes. There are three planes, axial, coronal and sagittal. Axial is the one which divides one into upper and lower half, that is the axial. So, sagittal is the one that divides into right and left half. Whereas, coronal is the one which divides into anterior and posterior half. So, computed tomography is used for multiplanar imaging. You can see axial images, coronal images and sagittal images. So, you can pinpoint where the actual lesion or where the actual pathology is present. That is not possible with the radiography. So, here we will go to the next question. With CT scanner, reconstruction can be done in the options are axial plane, coronal plane, sagittal plane, all of the above. Now, only we had discussed, it is all of the above. So, this one, the first image is coronal plane. This is the axial plane. Here, you can see the first two images where the patient can be divided into anterior and posterior. So, this is coronal plane and this is the axial plane where the division is between the upper and lower half and this is the sagittal plane between right and left. So, they can be reconstructed in all the planes. And we know like in radiography, we had used the term lucency opacity. CT is still more advanced. So, there are certain unit that is used to describe the density that we see in the images. Similar to X-ray, the images are displayed in the form of varying shades of grey. So, whichever is darkest, we have to assign some density and whichever is brightest, we have to assign some density. So, that is done by the unit called as Hounsfield unit. Two, and in the Hounsfield unit, whichever is darkest is air and it is given minus 1000, so negative value. Remember, in Hounsfield unit, we have negative values, positive values and a zero. Zero is water and whatever goes below that is negative value, air and fat are negative value. Water and above like soft tissue, bone, everything will be in a positive value. So, brain, if you take brain, grey matter will be in terms of 40, plus 40. If you take bone, it will be around plus 1000. So, metal will be densest, densest, densest so it will be plus 2000. So, all these are representing the density of the structures which we see in computed tomographic images. So, next we will move on to the next question. Unit used to describe CT density is, it is the, so the options are Royngen unit, Faraday unit, Hounsfield unit and Lormor unit. And the answer is, it is the Hounsfield unit or HU you can remember. So, here in this image I have shown you black is less dense or you can call it as darker shade. Air is the darkest one and it and the value is minus 1000. Water, just remember water is 0. So, this is the center point. Water is 0. Bone is plus 1000 and white. 
or more dense is above than bone like metals will be even brighter than bone and the contrast what we use or also in the range of positive values i'll describe about the contrast little later so this is the hounsfield unit city images are represented in black white and various shades of gray a unit is used to describe the various densities and this is called as the hounsfield unit so air is minus 1000 fat is around minus 100 water is zero csf is plus 15 muscle is plus 40 fresh blood is plus 60 to plus 80 remember this this is important when we when we are going to image the brain for suspected hemorrhage so fresh blood will be in the range of plus 60 to plus 80 contrast is plus 130 stone is plus 100 to plus 600 and bone is plus 1000 okay what is contrast see there are many structures which are very near and adjacent for example you can take in a chest in the mediastinum we have the esophagus next to that we have the aorta so if there is some fluid in the esophagus and in the aorta it will be difficult to differentiate in case of radiography definitely it is very very difficult to differentiate but in case of ct also it is sometimes if fluid is there it's difficult to differentiate if there are similar density structures then it is difficult to differentiate so what we are doing is whatever we want to see for example any hollow structures like esophagus or stomach or intestine if we want to see these hollow structures we can introduce something inside this hollow structures to make it more visible and that is called as contrast material that we can introduce either to the hollow viscera like st esophagus stomach or we can introduce into the vessels that is called as intravenous contrast so what we are using in ct and radiography is the intravenous contrast and that is made up of iodin iodin is radio opaque or radio dense so that will appear as brighter thing or we can use that is called as positive contrast anything that appears bright is called as positive contrast or we can use negative contrast like air we all know air appears dark or darker so if we give air in the esophagus or stomach that will appear darker so we can use that also as the contrast that is called as negative contrast so there are two types of contrast negative contrast and positive contrast negative contrast will appear dark or in less density whereas positive contrast appears brighter and the contrast positive contrast what we are using in radiography and computer tomography is made up of iodine just remember these points this will be again a potential area which can be asked so here i have shown an axial section of the ct brain we can know this is uh, in brain we know the gray matter is outside white matter white matter is inside white matter appears little less dense compared to gray matter and this is the area of ventricle that appears darker why because it contains csf and uh, the ho of csf is we have already seen around plus 15 or it is nearing the water ho so 0 to plus 10 like that so what is asked here is ho of water is that is the question the options are minus 1000 plus 1000 zero plus 100 ho the ho value of minus 1000 belongs to air we had seen already plus 1000 is bone so the water is zero so the answer is option c ho of water is zero and this is a representative image which shows the ho here i had kept the marker here one and the ho is minimum ho is 4 maximum ho is 24 this is the area of csf which is similar to water so the ho is in the range of positive range plus 4 to 24 here you can see this is the marker in the bone and hence the ho you can see it is around plus 366 to plus 1247 okay so this is the importance of the hounsfield unit if hemorrhage is there again that can be seen in the range of plus 80 to plus plus 60 to plus 80 the fresh hemorrhage what is the ho at the indicated point in the given axial ct of the chest so this is the axial ct of the chest you can see this is the trachea this is a these 
two or lung parenchyma and you can see the other soft tissue and bones outside this window is called as lung window it's important to know there is a term called as window window level and window width in computer tomography this is just adjusting the image so that the contrast is improved the natural contrast between the tissues can be improved for example this is the lung window so this adjustment is in a, is in a order that the markings vascular markings and the lung parenchyma will be nicely seen whereas in this window if you see the mediastinal structures and other structures it will not be seen so clearly so this is a lung window the pointer is at the trachea so what is in what is there in the trachea we all know trachea is filled with air so what will be the hu it will be minus 1000 so the answer is option c which is minus 1000 so remember there is a window level window width and this is the lung window similarly there are bone window or called as osteo window or soft tissue window or mediastinal window where you can see the soft tissue structures better this is nothing but adjusting so that the natural contrast is enhanced thank you and uh, this is a lecture which is about the concepts involved in the radiography and the computer tomography and the potential mcqs that can be asked in this in these two topics thank you